Hey everyone, welcome to this week's Arts Report. And this week is going to be a really, really fun one. I have an incredible artist and actress sitting next to me, and that is Atim Koko. <laughs> She's doing fantastic work on the social media spaces. Ati, you've been creating these amazing short skit videos that are culturally relevant, that are hilarious. First of all, thank you so much for coming through. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me, Kat. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So I guess the first thing is like the stuff you create. Mm. The first thought anyone watches like, yes, I know that person. <laughs> or yes, that is me. Yeah. How do you get it so right? Is that you <laughs> most of the time, the Kosa lady? Most of the time. You know, most of the comments, um, well, there's this one comment that people always make and it's, I think we all had the same mom in South Africa. Yeah. <laughs> I think we all share one mom when I do the Kosa moms. And when I do the Kosa girls, it's the exact same thing. But, oh, girl. Yes. And people think I am that girl. Mm. Well, she's actually decided to go the film route, which is amazing because, I mean, that's what we always wanted for her. So now we're just deciding whether we go to Cape Town or Joburg. My husband's brother has connections in Cape Town, so that's... No, her father will not worry for that over with me. Parents, I cannot stress enough how important it is for each... Like, uh, yeah, like it's big, eh? No, Ati, she, she said she wants to, 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 to do, to study to be on television. Yeah. So, as a result, her father has been trying to tell him to go to, to the one in Cape Town because of her sister is there, her cousin, her cousin brother, she's there. So, now, I don't want her to be... In Johannesburg, was that Johannesburg? There will be gallivanting that whole of Johannesburg. She wants something outside of the norm. Some of these things are definitely me. Yes, but I think some of them is just like my friends as well. Mm -hmm. I'm friends with some feisty Hosa girls. Yes, <laughs> you know, and yeah, I take I get the characters from from their personas. Any sort of girls in your clan or not yet? Uh, I'll right be the now. first. Yeah, <laughs> Let's go. Okay, let me hit you up. <laughs> oh my word. Because <laughs> you're so relevant. And I imagine that some of them are your family and friends. Yeah. So when they watch the videos, yeah. are they like, Ati, you're making fun of me. Me, this, this one is like all the time. So it's so funny. My mom, number one, yeah. is so in denial. She's always like, and then who is this? <laughs> I'm like, sweetie, that is so you. Guelo, <laughs> She's so funny. So she's always um, in denial. And then I remember there's this one um, video that I did and my, one of my exes was like, yeah, but like, y y you're dragging me. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody's <these> straight. <laughs> he was like, this is me. You're talking to me. Yeah. And it's so funny. But yeah, definitely. All my friends are like, uh -uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And now you're a thespian, but I know just before we were, we interviewed, well, we started recording, mm -hmm. talking about the music thing you did years back. Yeah. So you're into music. Sure. You're, you're an actress. Mm -hmm. You're just an artist. What is the focus right now? So I don't like to think of myself as my please hello. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I did I did music as you mentioned uh, yeah. in twenty sixteen, Kat. That was amazing. Um I did pretty well. My music was on MTV Base. Wow. And, but, yeah, major platforms. It was on MTV Base. Um it's on Apple. You can find it on YouTube. I have a, mu a music video. It was featuring Bato Rankin. Yeah. Who's amazing. So that was really amazing and I was really like chuffed with the outcome of that. And then, um, yeah, then for some time, I felt like the money is just not flowing as expected. In music. Yeah, dude. As an up and coming, Galoku. Yes. Remember, yeah. Because so you I'll always think music has more money than acting. Acting. For sure. I think so. No, no, no. They, it does. Yes. But as an up and coming, it's not it's, the it's same. It's a now story. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. So it, it was just not coming the way. I thought it was. Yeah. I th expected it to be. Um, so I left that and then I went into um, corporate for a few years, for like two years. And then, yeah. And yes, then I know you went into corporate because <laughs> some of the videos. <laughs> so there's the one video about office faces and yeah. how black women are, white women are, that, colored women are. That is me. And you it seems so that relevant. That was me completely. <laughs> in that video where where your boss walks in and you pretend to be so yes. busy. And like, that is me, like in a nutshell. That was just like, yeah. Hi, Trey. Um, one of our cousins were actually down from the UK. So we just kind of took her to one of our holiday houses in um, Cape Town. Maybe you? Uh, There's people in here. Imagine, so you know that popsicle. She wants to come out and then stand here. 
department of alcohol sweetie McDonald's. Mm. 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 And the reason because mm. uh, ma'am, if you just take the left, yeah, because yeah, as a result of the. But you know the interesting thing about that, at mm. is that the different reactions. So from from, I know it's funny, yeah. but there's a deeper thing to it. It's like how white people are so relaxed in the workspace, mm -hmm. and then maybe colored people are not as relaxed. Right. Then black people are like the most uncomfortable we people in the like workspace. Tight. And that <laughs> speaks to a very true thing. Yeah, unfortunately, hey, I don't know. There's you know, kind of some kind of privilege that comes with yes. that. Yes, and it it was so funny because I remember specifically that I was working for this specific company, um, and. The white girls were just so chill with like you know the uh, the, the, the 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 what's he, the GM mm. and inviting we were, them for holidays. Yeah, dude, and here we were still calling him sir and you know like boss, yeah. <laughs> you know. And it's just that mentality that I think has just been carried, you know, through carried on from past generations. About too, because mm. you know we don't have those privileges. Where now it's literally a thing of. GM, dude, what are we doing after this? Let's rock. You yeah. know, we like, um, thank you so much for having me. Goodbye. Yeah, yeah. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. See you back Monday. Yes. <laughs> you know, but yeah, I should say. And it it's the same is, thing. It's the same thing with the video you did on uh, mom's or parents' evening. Mm. You know, as funny as it was, the closer mom coming in late. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> but the, the reality is maybe she comes from a long hours of the day. She's been working. Mm. She didn't have time to get ready ready for exactly. parents evening mm. conversations about what my child wants to be when they grow up maybe yeah. they're, they're not those are not happening as often as they should be in the household right. and that's like a sad reality but we are it laughing is. it is comical yeah. but it's so, were you cognizant of that when you create the content i i obviously am but to be honest um uh, uh cat and i i feel like we live in such a we probably we're in a, such a sensitive time where everything like a sensitive race whether it be you know um <clears throat> the topic of gender it's so sensitive but i feel like remember at the end of the day i'm really just trying to bring laughter in a time of this pandemic where you know things are not as you know light-hearted as yeah. what they, you know used to be yeah so as much as i do feel like because i also get uh, quite uh, like, like quite a lot of slack like in terms of oh but this is just not painting our people out in the best mm. way, whatever. And I'm like, guys, this is my truth. This is how I see it. Mm. And remember, I am I am just trying to make you guys laugh at the end of the day. So, yes, it is serious, but I don't think it always needs to be that serious. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Shame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But talking about the slack you're getting, I mean, social media is Ooh. such a tricky space. You could get really, you could be really loved there or you mm. could be really hated. It yep. could be really toxic or really good for you. 100%. So I'm sure with your skits, you get both reactions. Right. But I, I don't know for what I've seen, you get yeah. joyful reactions yeah. more often than not. Yes. Are you, when, when you get the reactions, does it, does it hinder how you create content? Do you, do you need people laughing so yeah. that you feel like, okay, I did a good thing? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, the point is to make people laugh. <clears throat> yeah. Um, so I love when people, you know, comment and like retweet and the beautiful like messages of how far I'm going and like the almost like manifesting over my life. And I love that because people yeah. are in my DMs on some girl, you are going far. Far. Right. I, far. You know I, mean? <laughs> and I love those because I literally sit there and I, I get so like emotional about it because it's I just love one but one of my love languages is support. I love, yes. love, love support. So affirmations. Aff affirmations okay so i love that but then you know we also live in an entitled world so mm. obviously there's going to be one or two or three or maybe those seven eight ten people that are just like actually you're misrepresenting us as a race mm. you know and i'm just like okay sure babe sorry <laughs> or yeah. whatever or keep it moving or well i'm never negative like you know but i'm just like okay thank you yeah. Thanks for the advice. Yeah. Um, but um, it's not going to change how I'm making my content. You know what I mean? Because 
majority of the people are loving it for what it is. Um, so yeah, man, and it's it's that person that has no DP with three followers. <laughs> <laughs> My girl. Good night. Oh, who cares? <laughs> Good night. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, everybody's entitled to their opinion. So you, as is all, it's just, we're not going to, you know, change our entire craft and our brand because of three different or three opinions. Yeah. No. Yeah. And I mean, when we were talking, we were talking about you sort of moving up in the world mm -hmm. and occupying different platforms. And I said to you, so stand up comedy, if you get <laughs> called in for that. Um, and you're like, Sounds you're familiar. a bit hesitant. You, It's scary. Why is it scary? No way. You don't feel like you got this? No, I don't think I'm that that funny. Like, oh my god, no, oh, you're ridiculous. No, no. I I think I I'm good at impersonating, but like I don't think I can stand in front of a room of like full of people and like crack jokes all night. Or, like, well, for, I guess for it's for tricky. Yeah, it's so tricky. I think those people are amazing. Stand up comedians are like you know magicians. Like what the hell? Yeah. But I'm just also that's just not the direction that I want to go into. Remember, I need to be true and stick to. It goes as um. mm -hmm. I can't, um, you know, deviate just because people think that's what that's where you should be yeah, going. Exactly, and that's so that speaks to you being really intentional about. So even the gigs you're getting, because I can see them on your social page, like the different brands, you know, mm. the adverts, the, the sponsorships that you're getting. Are you so when they come in, are you selective about what you're choosing, or is it like yes to everything? Um, obviously I'm up and coming, so I'm not very like, no, no, no. So, you know, I appreciate every brand that comes my way because that's a collaboration that, you know, could have, could end anyway. You mm. know what I mean? Um, however, I do try to stick to my brand. So sometimes you'll, you'll find that these brands will be like, we want you to do this and this and this. And I'm like, but when you approach me, girl, you knew that I was this, this and this. So, you know what I mean? I can't deviate too much from that because what I also notice is that, you lose a lot of followers from doing too much campaign, campaigning, campaigning. Oh. Your followers are not following you to see. I how, didn't know that. Yeah, no, you do. People are not following you to watch your your little ads, your campaigns. Yeah, so, your campaigns. Yeah. So you need to stick to your brand. So I remember I did something with Ulax, and I saw that. That was so <laughs> funny. <laughs> and I was like, at the end, like I was just posting stuff that was not really like you know fitting. Yeah. And I was just like, no, guys, I think I need to make it a bit now more the Kosa mm. colored funny thing that I am, you know, that I'm known for. So they were like, sure, dope. And they loved that. They and loved that worked. video. And in and, and that video, like, people literally sent me videos of them buying Lux and being like, yeah, oh, influenced at you. <laughs> oh my yeah. God. And they loved that. Lux loved that, you know. So, yeah. Yes, you are not. And I like Lando that Lux has done. Whereby now they've incorporated the natural ingredients into their. Certain uh, morning, I tend to know Can you guys? Yeah, the honey, the lotus, you know, into this botanical concoction range. I like it, guys, because now. Guys, just for. Because skin is glowing, skin is flowing. Kumnand, I like it, Lando Lux. Yeah, and I guess that campaign um, landscape is about say they approach you with something, but they know who you are and what you've been doing. Right. So you need to have the creative freedom to say, I like your product, but this is how I would approach it. For sure. So have you had trouble where campaigns come? But they're not budging. They want you to be something specific or not quite yet. No, not quite yet. I can't lie. Um, all the like brands that I've worked with have work with uh, mm. have given me like leeway and the freedom to be true to and stick to my brand. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Okay, and your hair is lovely. Thanks, girl. It's so I did nice. it. I, I was so scared did to it? do this. This uh, lady called Melody. I, I've been using her for like four or five years. She's yeah. amazing. And she's always like, Ati, we're always doing the same thing. <laughs> like, can we switch it up? I'm like, I want bees, girls. These but are nice. Me. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I love them. Yeah. Been getting yeah. a lot of comments, a lot of um, compliments, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so so in the next five years, where's Ati going? Do you have a plan or are you just like going with where the mountain is taking you? Like you're just Ooh. climbing that journey. Ati, Ati is... My, to be honest, my goal 
is to um, end up abroad. Like, I want to be in the same room as Tyler Perry, child. Mm. You know, um, to be in the room with Olupita Nyongo, where you guys are It is are happening. Like, hey, it is let's happening. go. happening, yes. <laughs> you know, where you guys are like, you know what? Remember when I too was doing those little yes. videos? Look at Remember when she was on Kaya <laughs> Femme and she said that thing? <laughs> it's <laughs> happening. It yes. <laughs> yeah, so that is, that. those are my goals. Those are my dreams. Um and we're just praying and hoping and you know that that's what god's mm. um, plan for us is so yeah or for me specifically has it been a long journey so far like in terms of like when you move from the music and you're like okay drop this a little this pick up the acting yeah. has it been long are you like tired or are you still energized no i'm way like energized girl i feel like this is just the beginning you mm. know um i'm remember i was saying how to old you are earlier, you atifa i ask what? is that okay <laughs> how why i just want to know like the journey yeah. when i say a long journey i don't even know <laughs> how many years i'm talking about a long a long 20 year old journey <laughs> yes she could no. be like 19 <laughs> years <laughs> oh, 15 you year old journey <laughs> No, 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 no. I'm I'm 27. Okay, um, okay. Yeah. I'm 29. Oh, turning really? 30 next month. Nice. Yeah, it's dirty 30. Dirty 30. Love that. Yeah. So I'm only asking because sometimes you might feel like as you approach 30, like mm -hmm. oh my gosh, I need to have this checked. I need to have this, that done. This, this, this. Um, I need to have achieved these things, mm -hmm. and if I haven't achieved them, then what am I doing? Yeah. Do you have those? Like insecurities anxiety, anxiety yeah. sometimes um sh for sure but i always try to console myself with god's plan man i can plan and plan and plan and plan here cats mm. but you know um everything that's happened in my life i might not see it in that moment but yeah I, it, it's obviously for a reason um and also i just always try to remember to be kind to myself right? like yeah I can only if i've put in the work and i've tried and it's not coming the way that i expected it is also one way or another yeah it might not be the way that i wanted to want wanted to to to, to come but it will eventually yeah. yeah and just put your trust in god girl and i guess any last words advice for people who are trying to do acting because so many actors during the pandemic especially have been doing creative stuff in their homes yeah. shooting monologues mm -hmm. or creatives just trying to do stuff that's creative and put themselves out there i guess any words of advice to those people um, now you're making me the <laughs> the mentor. <laughs> the mentor. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm a cat. Any last words? <laughs> yeah. From who? <laughs> From me, girl. From a 27 year old <laughs> um, legend. <laughs> girl, good night. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Just con like I think consistency is what I I would help me. Yeah, you know I did discipline. One video. Discipline, sure, a hundred percent. But mainly for me, uh, Kat, it was consistency. Like I did one good video, and you know it it's a bit like when one video does well, there's a lot of pressure to like do another good video. But I was like, you know what? Let me just also keep at it and see where it takes me yeah. it took quite a long time well quite a while for the brands to start approaching me but at some point i did want to be like okay guys that's enough of that now yeah <laughs> but consistency was key and and, and and it's gotten me where i am yeah uh, whoever i am with the advice <laughs> <laughs> like a child put you on the spot there exactly. Ask you. it's you for me it's you for me <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Ati. Thank Thanks, you so much. God, I really lovely. enjoyed this. Thank oh, you. this is really nice. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks for having me.